Hi, my name is Jake. And this is third episode of Cool Stuff which I recommend. You can suggest topics or things which you want me to test out and share my experience. Just leave in the comment section below to this video. Today I want to talk about keying, color grading and tools which can help with this. Today's video questions. Where these effects are used? Which tools were available before to complete these tasks? Which tools I'm using now to get work done? So first question, where these effects are used? It's the easiest one. Green screen and blue screen are used everywhere. In movies, TV shows, broadcasts, vlogs, streaming services, basically everywhere where you need to quickly and effectively remove background or person from scenes. Also, I want to talk about color grading and changing colors, because it also can be fun to watch and even improve overall colors in our scenes. Which tools were available before to complete these tasks? Personally, I've used Keylight Preset for keying green screen. In my tutorials you could see technique using an effect called Difference Mat, which is good enough for quick little videos, but not for quality video production. Also, a few years ago I was obsessed with teal and orange color grading. Basically, it is technique where background and not important stuff in scene are having cyan colors. And skin colors of actors were orangish, which gives the feeling that they stand out more from background. But now it changed to more bluish tones in background. There is lots of techniques to achieve this look. Like starting with rough rotoscoping of skin to preserve skin colors. By the way, it's exactly what I did before. As well as having all extras, furniture and everything else in scene painted in bluish tones before filming. This technique you can still see in movies and TV shows. Which tools I'm using now to get work done? As you know from this series of cool stuff which I recommend, that I wouldn't make a new video if I didn't found a better way to do it. So let's get started with my discovery. This time I've searched through aescripts.com and found this plugin which you can install to After Effects. It's called Composite Brush. Prom of this plugin promised me a great keen experience, also the fact that it's much easier, much cleaner workflow and much better result comparing to any other built-in plugin which is available inside of After Effects. And I was like, okay, I'm interested. Once I saw the problem on website and looked through all tutorials, I immediately started thinking where could I use it and which tasks I can complete by using this plugin not by its main purpose. I always thought it's good skill while watching Andrew Kramer tutorials, to be able to see where can I use it besides the main purpose. So this is why I want to save main feature of keying background and keying hair, which it does great by the way, till the end. And now I want to play around with the few ideas which I had once I saw capabilities of this plugin. First of all I want to change colors as part of future color grading. Let's take this scene here and try to make it more suitable for action film color grading. So for this I can install UI panel from plugin itself or search for effect here, composite brush. Just drag and drop on my footage and just left mouse click on area which I want to key, in our case to change color. And alt left mouse click on areas which I want to stay in. And then just change transfer mode to HSV color, which is a unique feature of this plugin. And now I can change the color to whatever I want. I can also tweak few settings here in plugin itself. But from my experience it works great with default settings as well. Same I did with other parts of scene. And now it looks way better before and after. Side note, I always was interested how did they made this scene in a movie click with Adam Sandler. Did they paint him in some color like blue or green to be easier to change it in post or rather sculpt his skin which would be more time consuming. We should look at that, now you don't need neither of those with composite brush. Just repeat same steps and voila! You can create now Mystic, Hulk, Smurfs or any color grading of skin itself. Of course I thought that I can use change to color for this, but it would pick all similar colors in my scene and not so precise as composite brush and even with tweaking all settings it didn't work even close as good as this plugin. Now as you can see you can have fun with this effect as also use it even for more intense color grading. I don't want to talk about this effect too long. It's intuitive and super easy to use as you can see. Also they seem to update it constantly improving the plugin. Now I'm on version 1.4. And for last, I want to show you the main feature of this plugin, removing background and preserving hair details which I never could do it before. I've watched tons of tutorials and asked my co-workers about how can I key to still have such small details like hair. And finally just gave up on idea to get great keying. I always thought the movie studios have their own software for this and I will never able to do it myself or even get it the stuff for my projects. I'm glad that I found this product and now I'm sharing it with you. 
Check the link in the description below to this video to start using this effect in your own projects now. Leave a like and leave any comment or suggest topic in comment section below for future episode of cool stuff which I recommend. Make sure to subscribe to see more. Thanks for watching guys, see you next time.